we were driving to the Montadia Rainforest in eastern Madagascar, the world's fourth largest island just off the southeast coast of Africa. The ancient tropical forest on this giant island is a biological treasure. 80% of the plants and animals here are found nowhere else on Earth. But as the population in the forest doubled every few decades, the villagers were clearing the trees to grow rice, the main source of food. Farmers could feed their families in the short run, but the loss of the forest brought new problems. Without the trees, erosion caused the soil to lose its nutrients. Over time, cropland turned into wasteland. By the beginning of the 21st century, almost 90% of the island's rainforest had been destroyed. Dr. Bari Rakututin is trying to save the forest and help the people living in it. He's doing it with an unlikely set of tools. Health supplies, birth control pills, and condoms. For years, Dr. Bari's organization, Bari Salam, had brought health care to villages deep in the forest. On a routine trip in 2001, he asked a group of women a simple question. What would it take for villagers to stop clearing the forest? The response was not what he expected. They wanted fewer children. Access to family planning was rare in remote areas, and women had no way to prevent pregnancy. That's one reason Madagascar's population doubled between 1975 and the year 2000. Joeli Barisan is a local farming expert who teaches villagers how to grow more food on less land. He told us that farming innovations alone won't save the forest. If the forest was going to survive, the lives of women here had to improve. So in the nearby town of Moramanga, Dr. Bari's team loaded up with health supplies, this time including contraceptives and headed back to the forest. We followed Dr. Bari's team on a two-hour hike along slippery trails to Ansakarivu, one of over 600 villages in the forest. When the village elders greeted us, they seemed anxious to share their story. Dr. Bari is teaching farmers new planting methods that make their existing cropland more productive. He hopes that will reduce the need to clear the trees. But to Hanta Honorine, it's the tiny pills that have made the biggest difference.
De terca, tam catra vem três, tam catra vem catorze zala de sarac de svadne. Tam tam zavuna longa na ringa lo de fui. Cara na lo de fui nanca chita que zawe. A single mother of five, Hanta hardly knew how birth control worked. But when Glory Salam came here in 2001, she trained to be the family planning provider in her village. Hanta says that for some women, choosing when and how many children to bear is a new idea. But the use of family planning is spreading rapidly. In over 200 villages where Hawaii Salam works, the number of women using contraceptives increased by 50% in the last three years. Dr. Odile Randria Mananzara, the director of Hawaii Salam, believes that similar changes in human behavior will determine the future of the island. Si on ne fait pas d'activité valable pour stopper cette déforestation importante, dans 25 ans, cette forêt va disparaître. Et avec cette forêt, toutes les espèces endémiques, mais aussi Madagascar, va subir un changement de climat important et qui pourra l'amener à la sécheresse. Demographers project that Madagascar's population will double from today's 18 million to more than 36 million people by 2035. Scientists warned that at this rate, the remaining 10% of the forest could soon disappear. But Hanta said that she was hopeful, because the women here were finally being given choices. <laughs> And there's hope for others living in remote areas around the world. The U.S. Agency for International Development is funding similar projects worldwide that combine conservation with services like family planning. It's one way to ensure that women and their families are healthy and that people can live in balance with their environment. Dr. Bari's team set out the next morning for another village eight miles away. Fires burned in the distance, a reminder of how much work was still needed. But saving Madagascar's rainforest was about more than just protecting trees. It also meant improving the lives of the women living in it. With over 600 more villages to reach, Dr. Bari knew that they had little time to lose.